Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of As a Crow Flies Hiking. On this episode, I'm gonna be headed to the Smoky Mountains. I'm gonna do about four days in the Smokies, and coming along with me is gonna be Senior Hiker 77, following Walker's World, and for the first time, I get to meet Nicole Hikes a lot and her husband. We're all gonna to get together in the Smokies at uh, Deep Creek Trailhead, and we're gonna do about four days. So join along with me. Let's head to the Smokies. Okay, we came through Bryce's City, and now we're at Deep Creek. So we're gonna take one of these trails and we're gonna go up here and camp at one of these sites here. I think it's 60. Then we're gonna do some camping sites at one of these and come back around and do another campsite, one of these other campsites for the, this weekend. Tag along, let's go enjoy the area of Deep Creek in the Smokies. Okay, let's head up to uh, the Deep Creek Trail. We just started this weekend with a nice little three or four mile hike in to campsite number 60. I think that's where we're supposed to start. At least that's what I was told. Let's head up the mountain, go by some waterfalls and find the campsite. walked about half a mile in and I left my map. It must have fell out of my pocket. But I came back to the creek and it's here. A little wet, but it'll still work. I don't need to be without a map. I have problems finding out where I'm going without it. So I want to keep the map. Every one of these trips that I take, I always carry my little pack towel. It's just uh, something I always have, especially when it's I'm sweating. I try to take off the sweat. I learned very quickly today that I did not wash it after the last trip. Stinky. So what's really cool about this uh, Deep Creek Trail is there's a creek that runs down beside it and people, they walk up this wide pathway with little inner tubes and you walk up to a certain point and then you put in and you can come back down. It looks like a lot of fun. Okay, you know how I always say I'm not an expert? Here's exhibit A. I started on the wrong trail. I had several options to get it right. I messed up twice and I continue to mess up. So I've done about three miles so far in the wrong direction. Oh Lord, you probably think I'm goofing around, but I'm serious, I messed up. But it's been fun. I just gotta get to campsite 60 before nightfall. Well, I've asked three different people about which trail I'm on, and three different people have told me different trails. I'm starting to confuse myself on which trail I'm on. This could be a long day. Well, I made it to camp. I couldn't believe that I made it to camp because the whole time I thought I was on the wrong trail. And then I come out of the woods and get to the campsite and there was Senior Hiker 77's tent. I was told by three or four different people, some bikers, some hikers, uh, water inner tuber people, and somebody taking photographs that I was on the wrong trail. But I was on the right trail the whole time. And eat them, the noodles with cheese. Yeah. It's wonderful. Oh yeah. If I'd have known that, I could have brought them and done that for you. What's up? Got my sticker. <laughs> wow, free, free advertising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about a beautiful campsite. Nicole picked a great one for this group. We are down by a creek, gonna have the creek all night long behind us, singing in the background. Uh, I'll maybe get some sleep tonight uh, if I don't have a night terror and wake up everybody. <laughs> <Kill> everybody. <laughs> 
<laughs> Nobody's packing, are they? <laughs> Nobody packing. Right? Nobody's packing. Nicole, you you get those step stakes like I told you the octagon. Do you speak another language, Baxter? Oh, uh, yeah. Little German. I, I spreche a little Deutsch. A little Deutsch? Yeah, a little <laughs> <laughs> Makes you jealous, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, it's a beautiful campsite. We got all settled in. Everybody's here. Nicole hikes a lot. Uh, Senior Hiker 77. And Tom from Following Walker's World is here. His wife, Nancy, and Nicole's husband, Tim's here. Enjoying the Smokies. We're at Campsite 60. I think there's some other campsites that have been closed because of bears and one was washed out. So we got this campsite. Ah, so peaceful out here. Anyway. You don't think they, well, I don't think there's any mosquitoes out. They're pretty right. good to take a shoot. I don't want to look yeah, goofy maybe. in the picture. <laughs> yeah, what? Too late there. <laughs> well, it looks like the whole group is heading to, to their tents. So I guess we'll call it a night. Gotten a little cold. Not really not too bad, but still see my breath. So you know it's a little cold. It's been a cool day. Hiking in from uh, Deep Creek trailhead out here to the campsite built a fire had dinner got to uh meet everybody hang out i will see you guys in the morning good morning everybody it is day two in the lovely smoky mountains and there's tom what's up tom good morning coffee biscotti starting off good biscotti that's what i'm talking about <laughs> but i've also introduced him to the world of the lucky charms marshmallow treats it's in my to go to treat for today. <laughs> it's gonna change its life. <laughs> Pure protein, Lucky Charms marshmallow treats. And there's Senior Hiker, he's got one too. I think there's like 25 grams of protein in those. I'm just kidding, it's pure sugar. We don't have many miles a day. This is just an absolute, just hanging out, loving the, the camp life kind of trip. I'm just enjoying this a lot. We'll get started on the trail and see where we end up. Is that what you are telling people? <laughs> it's the time you say that on every video. Every video. Top of the morning to you. Let's go. All right, we're heading out of camp in our little saunter around the Smoky Mountains near the Deep Creek Trailhead. This is so much fun. It's more about the camping experience with this little trip than the hiking experience. We're still heading around. Little loops and things around here. Gonna check out two more campsites. We've done 60. Oh, a poop on the trail. And then we're gonna do a couple other campsites. And you know, in this 26, 27 mile day today, should, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> John's laughing at me. We're not doing many miles, but we're just having a blast. Smokies are so beautiful down here in the south part of the Deep Creek Trailhead. Enjoying the streams and the trees and the breeze. Beautiful. Mile 20 coming Are you up. kidding? You're exaggerating. This is only mile 15. Uh, oh, oh wow. I thought we passed 15. Sorry. How you feeling, John? I'm good. I'm all right. All right. Tim. Hey. Tim. Hi, Nicole. Hey. Cool. Uh, mile 15. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I just learned the power of persuasion. Tom, following Walker's World, just said, hey, right ahead of you looks like a good place for a bear to cross the, the trail. And I said, oh. And then for the next minute, I started looking for a bear on either side of the trail. Thanks a lot, Tom. If it does come, I'm pooping my pants real quick. <laughs>
Mike watch these videos? He watches y'all's and mine. Yeah. He, so he they, knows we were thinking about it. So we're off on a little adventure. We decided to set up camp and then do some loop trails. Absolutely stunning out here. The trail goes uphill towards campsites 57, 58, and then turns on the, the Martin Gap or something trail. We just thought we'd do a bunch of day hikes during the day where they can't set up and just explore the beauty of the Smokies. Spectacular out here. Made it to a campsite 57 where the mountain to sea trail is connected to some of the trails around Deep Creek. And when I got here, I realized that this campsite is closed. Check it out. So they, uh, they closed this campsite off and I did a trip with uh, Side Trail Adventures and Leonidas on the trail where we came up Mountain Sea Trail right here and I camped right over there. And I remember standing at this signpost up here thinking, I wonder what's down this side? And that's how you get back to uh, a Deep Creek Trailhead. As you can see this junction on this sign, here's the Mountain Sea Trail that turns and that's where we'll be going tomorrow up that way. And also, it is part of the Benton Mackay Trail, or at least the connection here. But this is the conjunction with the Deep Creek Trail, Mountain Sea Trail, and the Loop Trail that we've been on part of the day yesterday. So a really big junction of a lot of different trails. Let's see if it'll coil up. I'm not sure. He doesn't... His head's not diamond shaped. Getting about dinner time. Everybody's hanging out by the fire. Tom has uh, worked us up a good fire here. We took his silky saw and cut what little we could find that was dead, never live trees. And that's what we got. And it's actually going. I know it's hard to get us fire in the Smokies, but we got one. Nicole, Tim, what are y'all having dinner? Some uh, more uh, mushroom risotto. Yep. And teriyaki chicken with mashed potatoes. Sounds good. John? Chicken gumbo. Oh, now that sounds, I hadn't seen that one. Gluten free. Gluten free. That's what it says. Tom, what are y'all having? I think we're having some chicken teriyaki. All right. Well, that's what's on the menu tonight. So we'll eat, tell some stories and some tales, and then we'll go to bed early probably. Got a longer day of hiking tomorrow, so it'll be fun. Straight up the mountain. Well, it's getting dark and a lot of people have already turned in for the night. Had a wonderful day just sauntering around, doing a little exploring of the trails around Deep Creek Trailhead. So I'm just sitting by the fire. I'll probably call it a night in a little bit. But I will see you guys in the morning on the next episode, which will be day three of our little exploration of the Deep Creek area in the southern part of the Smokies. See you in the morning.